Okay, people, shocking information you are about to see. First off, everything you see in this video, I can't credit enough the two people that have given me this information. I'm just sharing what they have posted on YouTube, and that is brother Steve S.R. Monet, and I'll have links for his, his channel, and you can see the work he did in comparing the document Pope Francis and the imam um, had signed a few months ago with the 70 Nations document that is this conference that we can see coming up in September. So if you're not familiar, there's Sanher Sanhedrin, the Jewish Sanhedrin is organizing the 70 Nations and doing a conference in September, the day of world creation. There's going to be an animal sacrifice. This is the brochure from our other source, Hourly Watch, um, both of which have uh, made comments on this channel, and, and I do appreciate so much Hourly Watch for sharing this document, getting a, getting a clean copy of it so I can share it with you. And we're not going to go through everything here. However, we can see this is the brochure, and what um, was pointed out quite shockingly is in one of the sessions... We can see, oh, prayer. We have, very clear as day, as you can see, the recognition of Islam in the Jewish temple in Jerusalem. All right, let's just, you know, state that again. The recognition of Islam in the temple, not just on the temple mount, in the temple. So, this is clearly stating there will be a temple in Jerusalem. And there's a whole session, session A. Okay, and you can see the peace in the Middle East. And, and this is in English, Hebrew, and um, Arabic. A whole session on Islam in the Jewish temple. Basically saying the God of Islam, Allah, is the same God of Hashem. Okay? And now, with what Brother Steve has shared with us, that same God, Allah, that same God, Hashem, is the same God of Pope Francis in the Vatican. Because they have drafted a document that they signed with the Imam, Islam. Okay? And we're going to see clearly in this video... Eight bullet points that Brother Steve identified as he read both documents that clearly state it's the same beast of Revelation 13. Okay, there's a, a beast that, ha that, was a, that was like a lamb, but it spoke as a dragon. So what's happening is that beast is manifesting itself in one world religion. We knew about this. You know anything about prophecy, you know that there, this is going to happen. Okay. But now, Brother Steve has done this to clearly identify that the document being signed here with Islam and uh, the, for the Jewish Third Temple is the same as the Vatican, which is just astonishing. Okay, So here is um, the, the brochure with um, you know, the various uh, events, Okay, everything. Look. Globalization of law. I'm not going to spend a whole time, you know, but the center is Jerusalem. Okay. And, you know, various things, but, okay, this sacrifice. All right. There's going to be a sacrifice. All right. And there's, there's all kinds of things. There's this year of wonder, which is kind of like a jubilee. Okay. So, anyway, I'm going to leave a link to this uh, brochure which they have for the 70 nations. But now let's take a look at Stephen's, uh, Brother Steve's, um, his document when he went and, he, and he, he compared these. Okay, here we go. This is excellent work. And again, guys, we cannot thank Brother Steve enough for, enough for doing this, taking the time to read these documents, um, taking the time to uh, place these bullet points here for us to make them clear that we can just clearly see that you know, the document isn't identical, but it's darn near the same thing. Clearly giving us a, 
a indication that there's a, there's a force, okay, behind what what's happening with the Vatican, what's happening with the Jews, and what's happening with the Muslims. Okay. Now the the document we have here on the left is the the um, Human Fraternity for World Peace, and this is what the Vatican and the um, Imam signed. And then what we have on the right side, which you can see here is the song of Israel in the world. So clearly, each saying, talking about the world, talking about the nations, and signing a, a, a agreement. Okay, make, you know, so that's what each, each is doing. The imam and the pope, they sign this, and the nations that agree to this will sign this in Jerusalem. So let's look at the bullet points that Brother Steve had identified. Um, each, of course, is through faith in God who created all the universe and creatures and all living things. Now, let's remember that each religion has a different God. Okay, like the, the, um, the Muslims say Allah. The Jews say Hashem, but Hashem is not in the Bible. Okay, and the Pope is talking about God, but he's not talking about Jesus Christ. Brother Steve identified the fact that the name Jesus Christ was never in the document, ever. Okay, so it's, it's, you know, look, there's a lot of entities, things that are gods that say they created all this. Okay, so just because someone says God, that doesn't mean, you know, it's, it's the same God you think it is in the Bible. Okay, they're just saying God. So, uh, through faith in God that created all the universe and all the creatures. Okay, and of course, this, the uh, 70 nations, the whole premise is to replace the United Nations, okay, with 70 nations, but that there would be a belief in God. Now, you can make up any God you want, all right? So whatever God you want, you can make that up. You can sign this, and everybody's fine. Any religion is fine, okay? No, there's only one way to God, and that's through Jesus Christ. He is the way, truth, and life, okay? All right, now, in the, in the name of the innocent, human life that God has forbidden to kill, we ask that on this basis, our common belief is that God who... Uh, did not create men and women to be killed. Okay, so killing. Now, of course, what's happening here on the um, Sanhedrin document is we have the seven Noahide laws, and then one of them is killing. Okay, so the seven Noahide laws is is like saying that okay, the nation; these are the nations. There were seventy nations that came after Noah, and so there was a covenant Noah had made. And so they're saying that's this, this is this covenant. And they just made this up, guys. It's not in the Bible. There's no seven laws in the Bible. It's a um, Maimonides made this up so that you would in enforce these rules on the Gentiles. Okay? And, of course, one of them is king, killing. And of course, we got the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not kill. But uh, do not shorten the lives of the people, including the lives of the terminally ill. And the opposite is also true to invest in the efforts of, uh, to heal diseases and maintain health. Okay, so they're basically saying that the, the UN is not doing their job, that they need the nations to decide and vote on some of these matters. Okay, um, our next one here, you can see, it is necessary to protect women from sexu sexual exploitation and from being treated as merchandise or objects of pleasure for financial gain. Okay, and again, we have the paragraphs listed. So Brother Steve listed the paragraph of each one, okay, and then. You, you know, you can get these documents, and we'll have a link to all this, okay? So we have the same, not the same, but, you know, similar wording. The prohibition of prostitution. The mitzvah, or the commandment, to build a proper family life is to se uh, severe prohibition to commit adultery with a married woman. Okay, so th that's one of the seven Noahide laws. Now, in the name of God, who created all human beings equal in rights and duties and dignity, who has called them to live together as brothers and sisters. Okay. Now, again, you're making up your own God. You can make up any. You can just say whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Right. Now, what we can see is the human rights actually come under the category of stealing. All right, which is interesting enough, and that's one of the the laws, okay, and the preser preservation of rights of others' property and honor and body are not to be, to desire, take anything that does not belong to others. So that's, even though it's under the category of stealing, it's, it's very similar to the verbiage of human rights, okay. Uh, 
And first and most important aim of religions is to believe and honor God. Okay? And again, we have the uh, blessing in Hashem. God literally meaning the name. That's what Hashem means is just the name and respecting the creator. Okay, well, who is that? Who is the creator? Well, it's, it's Jesus Christ. And the protection of places of worship, synagogues, churches, and mosques. And, and we have the same thing, the respecting of places of worship. And the oppressed in the, uh, is a religious and social obligation that must be guaranteed and defended through all the strict le legislation and implementation of relevant internal agreements. So this is basically saying that there will have to be legal uh, means to implement these laws. Okay, and then of course we have the establishment of courts and and to judge and justice and direct society to obey orders and decisions of the courts. So the Sanhedrin will oversee the courts that the nations will decide and vote on various issues. Okay, and you can see he says here, no mention of Jesus Christ, or whatever. Of course, in the Jewish one, you won't. You will have the same. Okay, so clearly. These um, documents are very much in agreement one with another that, um, strangely enough, by the Vatican, strangely enough, by the Jews, are basically agreeing upon the same thing. And these blind and ignorant people from the nations are getting together, and they're going to sacrifice an animal, okay, um, unto this nebulous god. Well, we certainly know the, the beast... And the lamb that speaks as a dragon is giving the power to the beast. Okay, and they're going to use this animal sacrifice to uh, give this, this offering to this false god. It is not the god, uh, the father and creator of heaven and earth, manifests himself through his son, Jesus Christ, who his sacrifice died in our sins so we can have salvation through him. So this beast and this whole thing, everything that's happening with the Vatican, everything that happens with the Muslims, everything that happens with the Jews, and is direct warfare against Jesus Christ. Okay, this is just shocking. Phenomenal work for Brother Steve, and big shout out to Hourly Watch. We'll have links in the scripture field to everything you see. But let's watch what happens with this, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless you. And guys... Uh, if you haven't seen it, we have other videos on the Sanhedrin and more on this 70 Nation stuff if you're not familiar with it. But let's watch.